Hello everyone, whether you be a friend, a foe, or just a random internet traveller, I'm Infinity64, and today, I have a new headset complete with microphone, so hopefully, the audio is a little bit better for you guys. Now, the real subject of today's video is not this headset I got, but instead, everything wrong with the prospect of battery-powered locomotives. Now, to start with, I'm not saying battery-powered locomotives can't work, they certainly have. Hell, the London Underground started with battery-powered locomotives. They're good for, you know, shunting and switching and all sorts of yard work, branch lines, underground, that sort of stuff. But the focus of today's video, the stuff I'm here to tell you all is complete bullshit, is the modern freight diesel, freight and passenger well, not diesel, freight and passenger battery electric engines. Now, trains, right, they're on tracks, meaning that unlike an electric car, they don't have to have batteries. Because since a car's going here, there, and everywhere, it needs a portable source of power. A train is always set on the same route. And it can have onboard batteries if it needs to defer from that route for a short while. Which is why you can run overhead wires and pantographs. So the prospect of a purely battery road diesel, or full scale uh, locomotive, I should say, is completely preposterous. Because not only will those batteries take forever to charge, the range they have is much less than existing diesel or electric engines and as i said before there's no need for the batteries when you can just run wires straight to the engines or have them pick up from a third rail and just for another thing a, a lot of people are saying oh there's no you know the technology isn't around for us to integrate electric locomotives that's a lie the technology is around for you to integrate electric locomotives, but you can't integrate battery electric locomotives. Let me explain. So, as I said, battery electric locomotives have a portable source of power. And while the batteries aren't good enough for what they want to use them for in railways yet, you can make an electric locomotive that runs off pantographs or a third rail, as I have stated. Because, as me, myself and many others have stated, you cannot take a train just about everywhere. It has to stay on, a, on the rails. And it's just preposterous that someone would start complaining that, oh, railways aren't, you know, too friendly to the environment. We need to make them electric when you can do that. A good example I've seen of this is jokes about the Milwaukee Road. You know, people, people, are, you know, people online, as I've said, are complaining about how the batteries aren't good enough and electric locomotives can't be done right. And now, uh, and well, I've lost my train of thought. Pun not intended. But the Milwaukee Road was using, and many other lines in America, not just in America, but all over the world, the Milwaukee Road just ha happened to have a lot more electric stuff than some other places. But the Milwaukee Road was using electric locomotives 50 years before this debate even really came to light. The Virginian Railway, for example, had one of the heaviest and most powerful locomotives ever, and it was electric. It was a you know, three-car, multiple unit and it was meant for gold trains, and it was electric, back in the 1920s. So, the electricity is there, it's a concept that's been tried and tested, you're just doing it wrong. And that's not to say battery engines can't work, as I said at the start of this video, they've existed for ages and are great for things like bat, for, for things like yard work and switching, and most mainline electric locomotives that run off pantographs have electric batteries if they ever need to go through a yard where there are no wires so they can reach the next set of wires but on the scale that they're planning to implement them it will not work at all at least not for another 
you know, long time. Anyway, this has been Infinity64 in this little five, six minute video, incredibly quick, and talking about why people just need to stop with all this eco crap. The environment needs to be preserved. There's no doubt in my mind about that, but you're doing it wrong. Find, you know, put up more wind turbines out in the middle of the ocean, build more solar farms in land you can't use. Don't force people to accept something that will never work. As always, this has been Infinity64, and I will see you next time our paths should cross.